Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek3 and today Apple did launch their public beta program. This is basically iOS 10 beta 2 for everybody. If you want to sign up for this public beta program, I'm going to be showing you guys how and how you can get this on your device as well. So let's go ahead and get started. As you guys can see, I already have iOS 10 on my iPod Touch, and I'll be showing you guys how to get this on your iOS 9 device. Even if you're still on iOS 8, you can get onto iOS 10 right now. So go ahead and go into Safari. I'll have this link in the description, so be sure to check that out. And scroll down here until you find Sign Up or Sign In. Go ahead and click on Sign Up. And if you already did sign up, just sign in. But if you're in here, you're going to need to put in your Apple ID. So let me just go ahead and do that. All right. And once you've signed in, it'll look something like this. And what you want to do is go up here to the guide. If you're already here, just scroll down and select iOS if it's not selected already. Scroll down here until you find the Enroll Your iOS Device button. Go ahead and click on that and scroll down here. It's going to tell you a bunch of things like backup to your computer and you should definitely do that because you don't want to lose any of your stuff when you install a beta. Remember guys this is a beta software it's not a hundred percent stable yet. So go ahead and once you're here go ahead and download the profile it'll take you to settings. Let me go ahead and install this. You're going to need to put in your password if you have one and it's going to tell you a bunch of stuff and go ahead and hit install, install and restart and once you've done that your device will go ahead and restart now while this is restarting I want to talk to you guys about iOS 10 give you my personal feedback on it you know there's a new feedback app you can tell all this to Apple I just want to tell you guys this personally that iOS 10's experience right now is actually not that bad for beta 2 it's really really good it's pretty smooth there's not a whole lot of crashes like you know sometimes in the past there would be but here inside of settings you can mess around with the new Siri toggles you can mess around with any of the new features that um, iOS 10 comes with and for the most part it won't crash I haven't experienced a crash yet on iOS 10 even on beta 1 but this here uh, is pretty stable if you want to use it on your main device you could but I don't suggest you guys do because again it is just a beta so do keep that in mind and this is a public beta so Apple's confident enough in this new beta to actually release it to people and not just developers well developers are people too but that's not that's not my point but here as you guys can see you can actually download the public beta once you install this profile and restart your device it's as simple as that go ahead and download and install it it will take a moment to install and once it's done you will be on the developer beta too but this is public beta 1 which is the equivalent of the developer beta 2 Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoy iOS 10 on your device if you do decide to install it. Like I said, it isn't super slow. Here's the benchmark I took um, on my iPod Touch 6 Gen iOS 10. It's pretty average. Again, nothing too slow or fast. There's no speed improvements, but then again, it's not extremely sluggish, although there's going to be some lag going in and out of things. So do keep that in mind. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and until next time, peace.